um, today is about real life. Um, what better way to talk about real life than to actually read the Bible and go through it each section by section and talk about today life, you know. Um, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a, you know, registered minister or whatever you want to call it, but I'm not that. I'm just a regular average person that like to live her life to the fullest or at least try to live her life to the fullest. Um, right now, I decided to start something a little new, a little different, but still, you know, encourage you to live your life. So right now, I'm going to be reading the Bible. Yes, I'm going to be reading the Bible. Um, it's the King James Version. Well, it's the New King James Version Bible. And I'm going to start from the Genesis first book of the Bible, Genesis. So I'm going to try not to babble too much and so this video won't be too long. But um, the um, title of the book, the main title of the first five book is called The Toa God's Establishes Covenant. Now, I was like, what is the Toa? You know, when I first heard that, I was like, what was the Toa? Toa. And the Torah is the law of God as revealed to Moses and recorded in the first five books of the Bible. Well, here is a Hebrew scripture, but you know, of the Bible. Um, the first five books, which are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Deuteronomy. Um, I don't have this memorized. I know I need to get it memorized. Eventually I will. But uh, the first chapter that I'm going to be reading for you all is called The History of Creation. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, the History of Creation. In the, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night so the evening and the morning was the first day then God said let there be a fermentment I think I'm pronouncing that right fermentment in the midst of the waters and let it divide the water from the waters thus God made the ferment and divided the waters which were under the fermentment from the waters which were above the fermentment and it was so and God called the fermentment heaven so the evening and the morning were the second day so this is when God created heaven and he created earth he called the fermentment which became a noun, which is heaven, which is the divided to divide heaven and earth. I hope I'm making sense right now. <laughs> um, okay, he just created the second day. Then God said, "Let the waters under heavens be gathered together into one place." And let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together the waters he called seas. And God saw it was good. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and the herds that yield seeds, and the fruit trees that yield fruit according to its kind 
who sees is in itself on the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass and the herds that ye yield seed according to its kind and the trees that yield fruit whose seeds is in itself according to its kind and God saw that it was good so the evening and the morning were the third day then God said let there be light then the formament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years and let them be for lights in the formament of the heavens to give light on the earth and it was so then God made two great lights so he gave light from heaven to earth then God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day which is the Sun and the lesser light to rule the night which are the stars and the moon he made the stars also God set them made the stars also God set them in formament of the heaven to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw it was good so the evening and the morning were the fourth day then God said let the waters abound and uh, let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures and let birds fly above earth across cross the face of the formament of the heavens so God created great sea creatures and every living Thing that moves which with which the waters abundant according to the kind and even in every wing bird according to its kind God saw it was good and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on earth so the evening and the morning were the fifth day then god said let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth each according to its kind as it was so and god made the beast of the earth according to its kind cattle according to its kind and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind and God saw that it was good then God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have abundant let them have a dominant uh, is that right? no a dominant over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him in the image of God he created him. I have to repeat that. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. 
have dominion. That's the word I was trying to pronounce earlier. Dominion over the fish and the of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seeds, which is on the face of all earth. And every tree whose fruit ye sees to you, it shall be food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to every thing that creeps on the earth in which there is life. I have given every green herb for fruit, for food. My bad, I'm sorry. I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made. Indeed, it was very good. He So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all the hosts of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because it in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. This, the history of the heaven and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made and the earth and heavens before any plant of the field was in the earth and before any herb of the field had grown for the God the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth and there was no man to till the ground but the mist went up from the earth and water the whole face of the ground and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed in to his nostril and breathed breathed into his nostril breath of life and man became a living being so I'm going to read that last one over again it says and the Lord God born man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril his nostril you know how big a nostril is the breath of life and men became a living being like wow like after Everything was made. Everything was created. He created us. That's amazing. That's really amazing. It amazed me. Um, now, from what I have read today, I hope you got a lot from it. I know I did. I have got a lot from it. And I would like for you all, I have a question for you all. What is your beginning? Now, I want you to leave it in the comments down below. And I will respond to you in the next video. Or, you know, yeah, I will respond to you in the next video. Um, what is your beginning? This is your life. God gave you life. You should spend it to the fullest. You should love it. You shouldn't try to be nobody else. You should try to be you. Only you. God created you in His image. He didn't create you to be like a tree or an animal, you know, 
no offense, you know, I'm just using it as a, you know, analogy. Uh, they create you to be, you know, a swan or uh, the ocean or something like that. He created you in his image. So you are beautiful. You are handsome. You are loved every day, even in the moment when you think you are not being loved and you down and you out of it, you frustrated, you want to hit stuff, you want to fight, you want to cuss up a storm, you want to argue, you feel like you're not being treated right. Any of those feelings, when you are feeling those feelings, just stop, take a breath, look around because God made everything for you. Look around. See the love that God has done for you. Look around. And I promise you, you won't be feeling the same way you was just feeling a moment ago. You would end up feeling this beautiful peace and relax. Your mind will start to you know talk out the stress in your head <laughs> and it would just start relaxing like you would really relax your whole mood would change i have done it i do it a lot actually it's like a almost like a great therapy within itself just look at the sky he created the sky like come on now when you look up it's like you're looking in heaven the format that's above that he had the birds to fly across. It's above, it's heaven. He created these things for a reason. This is the beginning of his creation. What is the beginning of you? What is your beginning? Who you are? Just leave a comment down below in the description box telling me what is your beginning, who you are. And my name is Adrian. And I please, please love your life, live your life because it's your life. And you only get one life, so live it to the fullest. Live it, have fun and have lots and lots of smiles and laughs and that's all i have for today so if you want to um connect with me a little bit more uh, you can subscribe with the button that would be right here this button and you can watch the new uploads right here but if you want to know my schedule and everything and what's going up next Please subscribe here so you can see my schedule and everything and more and connect more with my channel. And I'll see you all later. Bye YouTubers. Have a blessed day.